All right, so now it's time to install these uh, 2209 drivers. So I gotta take out my 2208s and just take off my thing, pull them out, and uh, get centralized humming working, uh, stall guard working. Cool thing about these drivers, I shouldn't have to uh, run any ex external jumper wires to the end stops on the diagnostics pin. Uh, it should all be internally with the S-Care board. Actually, that's what makes that board so nice, is that everything is actually done internally. Whereas before, like on the MKS uh, Gen L board, you'd have to do a bunch of external wiring to get this thing to work right. Um, end stops, and also the uh, if you wanted to be able to control the, uh, the drivers internally from Marlin. Alright, so I'm going to get that board off, and uh, we'll get it going. Alright, it's kind of a tight fit in there, but those two jumpers right there are for UART mode. Since we're not using SPI mode, it's a 228, 2209 driver. We use UART mode, so those are have been enabled before. And then uh, these three pins right here, like that, that's for a normal stepper direction. So if you wanted extra SPI mode, you'd put all four of those. All four of those would be populated. If you're wondering, these drivers can only go one way. See those little extra pins right there? Well, those actually go into the pin slots right there, everybody put two in there. So if you're wondering, it can only go one way. Yeah, I love that new thermal contact pad, that copper piece right there. Like on the older ones, see this right here? I mean, you were just it was, it was just a chip sitting on top of the chip. Well, I mean, the heat sink sitting on top of the chip. So you could easily knock this off, whereas this is going to get a lot more grip. That's cool. Alright, got the drivers installed, and i got to upload the firmware here. That's one thing I love about the SCAR 1.3 board is that you just copy over a binary file once you've compiled it to this SD card and it will automatically pick it up on this SD card. So, alright, get that going and we'll play with Stealth Chop here. Alright, right, that's the first fire up. Alright, so I have it connected to Simplify 3D here and so I'm going to run M122 command, and that gives me the status of the uh, TMC drivers. Turn off verbose mode. And so right now they're not, they're not doing anything, so they're set to false enabled. But uh, I'm just going to go through some of the stuff I learned. Like, it kind of threw me off at first. I, I, was, I kept on trying to figure out what was up with the end stops. So it says open, open. I still got to figure out what's up with the Z, but it says open, open, right? Even then after you home with the central is homing, you're still going to get the open because it's actually not an activated end stop. So that threw me off at first. So I had to do some research. But so let me do a quick, I'll show you a, uh, I want to bring my uh, X Pro over here to give me a couple seconds. So it only momentarily sends a command back to Marlin, and that's actually what it tells where the uh, well, that's Marlin know where the end stops at. So let me do a I'm going to home X, and then I go back to the console communications, and we're going to see it. So that was the command right there that it sent back to Marlin. So that's actually what triggers and enables Marlin. That's that's what triggers the end stop. I still don't know a lot about it yet, but uh, because if I go back to the uh, M119 command, it's going to give me an open, open trigger, even though I just ran a home. It's sitting in the actual home position. So let's try that one more time. And also, uh, let's see here, go back to job control, bring it back a couple. That way it gives me a couple seconds to get back over here. I'm going to home X and then communication. And you'll see hit. Boom. Hit. Alright. So another interesting command is the M, the sensitivity. Right now I have it set to 50. The M914 command. And that basically gives you the sensitivity. So right now I'm set to 50-50. And actually, uh, that's, pre that's pretty good so far. The main thing is you don't want the belt to be slipping, making that weird noise. And also, uh, you don't want it to like be, to give you like a false positive. So, just a couple things I've been learning. I'm, not, I'm still working on this printer. I'm getting ready to do the linear up rail. I'm doing a complete rebuild of this printer. So, 
uh, Central is humming, 2209 drivers, all full linear rails. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, watch my other videos. So I'm doing a full thing here. This actually originally was a 40 dollars Craigslist printer that I got. It was originally like an A9010. So, alright, got the 2209 drivers going. Awesome. Yeah.